Well, good day, Tooth. How's she hanging? Pretty darn good here. Pretty darn good here. We're under a snowstorm. Uh, yesterday it was 13, plus 13 degrees, and today it's supposed to get a snowstorm. Coming. It's on its way. Whatever. <laughs> but anyways, today is, uh, guess what the candle's gonna be? This is our first video of um, probably a few anyways. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of molds finally come in here. I've been waiting for them, and uh, we're gonna do a little guess you guys guess what you think the mold's going to be and we're going to mold it and then the next video following will show you what that mold is what that one comes out as and the uh that same video will do guess what the next mold is so the first one is just guess what the mold is and then we'll mold one so uh but anyways there's all our letters from that sweet uh freaking uh title we just uh, went through there it's pretty awesome eh so we got a whole bunch of o's and you know t's three t's and uh some some C's. These are actually C's, not U's. <laughs> U's are a little bit different. So this uh, little thing I got to uh, show you here. I got them from Michael's, the craft store here. And there's three of them. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I don't know that down to Z. So I just, you know, poured those in and out they come, right? So, oh, now she's stuck. Mm-hmm. They pour good. Uh, I've been doing some shopping at the uh, thrift store, secondhand store. We got this melting pot here, and you'll never be able to use it again. Well, I guess you could clean it out and use it again, but I got that one, and uh, we we're out to another one. And I found uh, this guy here, which has got a little bit coated now from pouring these, but uh, that's basically like a creamer thing you put on your table, right? In a restaurant or something. So I just, you know, fill that in, and uh, worked great for that. Uh, I was using just a spoon and it was all right, but this is holds a bit more so you can pour like three or four or five letters with one dewey there. So anyways, this is beeswax. This is actually not 100% beeswax now. Um, I might melt all these down again and use them anyways. But uh, my wife had this big paraffin, I believe it is, candle for a lot of years here. And she's like, do you want this thing? I'm like, sure. So I chopped a hunk off and threw it in there and it actually stabilized it a lot nicer. Uh, you see how it hardened on the top. There's like no cracks. Beeswax hardens kind of weird on the top and it cracks uh, kind of like this. This one I've kind of tried to melt it and it sort of melted back together but uh, you need to add a little bit to it. But that's that. Uh, that one is 100% beeswax though. So. Oh I wish you guys could smell that. I should do giveaways after. Give some of these away so you know you can have a smell of them. But uh, but anyway, so yeah, this um, this one was our first one that we made in uh, this cylinder here, and it was real hard to get it out. <laughs> we had to freeze it for about two days, and it finally got cold enough that it kind of popped out. But uh, I wasn't really super happy with it, so I'm probably going to melt it down again. And uh, well, wow, that might be actually too much beeswax, and I'm going to have to add some more paraffin to uh, mold these other ones. But uh, anyways, um, let's get this going. I'm just going to redo all these again them all in there if I need to make some more we have the technology for that so a couple other things um, oh, let's just get things organized here we'll just get this thing going here I'm not crazy about my little burner guy here if you turn it on to one it'll come on it's built all over the place it'll come on but then it comes on and it stays like wicked hot like it's on max Let's just. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this off because that's your indication the burner's on. Okay, so let that sit there and stew for a minute. Get some of these down a little bit. So yeah, that's cool. You know, I could make names and stuff or you know initials like R M R M or E. ED <laughs> example. <laughs> so yeah, well that's kind of cool. We could do that. Um, yeah, so I got uh, all the rest of the alphabet here too. And uh, yeah, you know, so you can make all the letters you want. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty cool. Michael's some rubbery stuff. Um, so one other thing I got to show you. Let me get it up on the table here. Hang on a sec. So in case you're not on the Facebook uh, fan page, group page there. You might know what this is when you see it. 
Um, it was explained on the web's um, Facebook page there, though. We went to a local bee place, oh, an hour-ish north of here. Picked up a nice big block. Now this stuff is partially rendered, but it needs to have some filtering and stuff done to it. Like it's still got all the, you know, the, there is still wax in this, but it's all the gooey crap. I gotta get out all cleaned. Ooh, that's nice and waxy though. <laughs> but uh, this block is 20, almost 27 pounds. <laughs> so you can see they're smashing it with a hammer, trying to break it apart. They uh, roughly filter it, I guess, through some cheesecloth, and then this they block it. And then when they want to use it at this place, they uh, finally filter it. So what I'm going to do probably is do the boiling method. So, uh, you know, look at this thing here. It's like red hot, and it's like on one. So, I mean, that would definitely scorch that stuff. So I don't like that too much, so I might have to look into another one of those. But it's okay if you... I'll just shut off. I'll just let her sit a minute. Once it's warmed up and going, it's fine. Then you know, I'm almost up to like three just to keep that. The I was gonna say acid. <laughs> Holy crap! The wax warm. So that's still like pretty bloody hot there. So I let it just turn off for a minute. Uh, but yeah, twenty almost twenty seven pounds of wax. She gave me a pretty good deal on it. That's that's still worth a lot of money though. So. Um, because it's not, you know, finalized and finished. So, but one of the molds, well actually we got quite a few molds here. Let's uh, just get them out here and uh, show you what we're going to do as video-wise here. Okay, so that's one of them. I uh, don't know if we'll do this one today or another one. Uh, I've got a bunch of other ones in here too, but you can't probably look at them too closely because they are labeled what they are, but... Uh, they're, they're all in here anyways, so this one I want to show you because this is what I'm going to use for uh, molding the, uh, the beeswax when we get it rendered down a little bit and ready to go. So this is actually a one, one pound beeswax bar. So we'll pour it into there. The only thing is uh, I didn't realize these things are bloody expensive too, but they're really good. They're really hard, so they hold the shape well. Um, I should have about three or four of them, but I've only got this much to do, so you know it's not really that bad. Um, but we should have probably two of them anyway, three of them. But uh, I got a little remedy maybe for that, and I was at Princess Auto the other night there. I got some of these pans. I think they'll kind of into here, and they should come out of that fairly good because they're fairly smooth, right? Should bust right out of there pretty easy. So we got three of those too. So that's pretty cool. That's that's heavy. That thing weighs probably couple of pound anyways there's a lot of silicone rubber in that so how about uh, we've got a bunch of other ones here we got one two three four five and this one here which I got from another place is six and uh, it's the one maybe we're gonna do today now my wife said to me oh I can make if you want to mold anything I know how to make that stuff so we did a little experiment the other night and I don't know if it's gonna work it's a little honey bear so this had honey in it and the little bear guy and we molded that with some glycerin a bit of water and gelatin quite a bit of gelatin now gelatin melts though so I don't know okay so that's that's good we'll put that on there get that going I don't know if this is going to hold the heat of the wax it might start melting that gelatin and turn into a huge mess oh so we got a Put it on a plate, maybe. And boy, boy, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It might be cold enough, though, that when it hits it, it kind of does like a little layer, and then it might be all right. But extracting this stuff's pretty tough. Like it does break, but it's pretty tough. But a lot of these molds are cut, so I think. I think what I'm going to do is try to cut them right down the side. It's pretty darn thick though. Try to cut them right down the side and leave enough at the bottom that it'll, it'll open up again. He'll pop out real easy. So, ah, what am I going to use to cut that? That's a pretty big freaking knife to cut that. I might just have to use my buck knife 
I was going to say just my little exacto guy here, but I don't know. It's quite a bit thicker than, than what that one was. So we just used a McDonald's coffee cup. It's got him suspended on the top of the cup with one of these. And uh, it actually worked pretty good because you need a little bit at the bottom for like a hinge, right? So, oh, but I don't know, cutting that. Whew. I do have like a big utility knife. That might be the best thing. Let me go see if I can find that. Might cut it. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, now, kind of want to cut it down its side so you don't get the line on the front of them, but this stuff's, this stuff's tricky because if you look inside, we do have quite a bit of bubbles and stuff, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if this one's going to work even though, but uh, it was worth a shot. So maybe I should draw a line on them. Got a marker here, that might work. Might be easier to follow a line than... So if we cut them down about here... Here... Wire... See how, how this stuff cuts, and I'm sure this thing's pretty bloody sharp. Okay, it's snapping and cracking I don't really like. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, that stuff's really rubbery. Boy, oh boy, I don't think I even got through them all the way. Okay, that uh, cup might have been a bit too much. Now the cool thing is, with this stuff... Holy cow, I didn't even know that. I got f five spare knives in this thing. Ugh. The cool thing is with this stuff I was saying there... Is it's meltable. Again, you can melt it down and use it again. If you have to. So, oh, geez, we just about made her. Okay, so now we got to go pretty much right across. So, do one there, one there, and right about there. Okay. So this isn't the secret one today. I just wanted to show you, show you this, and hopefully it works. This is more of an experiment. Because then, oh, you almost think this was silicone. Because then I'll be able to mold pretty darn near anything I really want. Okay, that's good. Put all these really ridiculously sharp things back in here. Before I end up cutting myself. So that thing is now idle itself down. We'll call it. And uh, it's hardly turning on now. So it's really weird how it turns on full blast and you know now I'm turning it up a little more. Okay so what we need to do yeah so that should work pretty good. Now you're probably wondering, oh crap, you can't pour it like that. <gasps> no, you can't. There's a method around that too. Take some elastic bands, put them around and get her kind of lined up where it looks good. And these elastic bands might be a hair bit small, so we might have to double them up on the bottom part here. Almost need a gnar one, but you gotta just make sure that you get them all lined up so he looks right on the inside. That's the only downfall of cutting them like that. I 
doesn't look too bad. So we're going to try pouring this one today. And uh, this one, I'm going to have to find some more elastic bands. This one is going to be our mystery one today. And uh, I don't know what you think it's going to be. But it uh, kind of looks like something from Star Wars. Right? So, yeah, I'm going to need some more elastics because these are the ones that actually came with this one. <laughs> So I've also made myself, where did I put it? Back here. You probably noticed this little wire. Just a little piece of wire. It's called, uh, I made one, you can buy them, but I made this. It's called a wicking needle. Let's get that little stir up. Wicking needle, so this is pretty cool. You take your, your wick stuff. Now with these real long ones, like for instance, uh, this big long one here. You're going to need to, you can't just kind of reach down there and pick the thing out, right? So what you got to do is, uh, if I can get her positioned right, my fingers to work for me. That through like that. And this one's not so bad. Uh, I do believe there's a hole already. I should mark that. It's hard to see this one. Well, maybe I'll go down from this way. Hang on a sec, I can't quite see what I'm doing here. So, there we go, I found it. So, that's hopefully going to pull this wick through for me. There we go. Thread the needle, right? And we can just pull that back a bit. Getting all this other beeswax crap all over this. And this one's really sticky too. It doesn't come off too well. Okay, so this is actually our bottom. And where the wick goes through the top, that's our top. That one's a little more jellyish. I'm not too sure if I like that one quite as much. Uh, but this we got to leave a little bit of wick here to tie the little guy on there too. But I got to go upstairs and see if I can wrangle up a few more elastics. We'll be right back. All right, we got some bands on it. I think it should be good. I might need a little adjustment here and there, but we're gonna get our stick. Um, I'm gonna need another stick. Maybe, uh, oh, we got some more over there, okay. So we take our stick. And we just kinda roll her down. Until it's tightish. That a bit maybe. I think I got some wax on here, so I don't want to participate too much. Now, what you can do, what what I might do is, well, yeah, it's not really staying. You could tape that on there, but they really don't tape too well, so. As long as it kind of just sort of sticks right there, that'll work. So, okay, so that one's good. That one's ready to pour. Okay, let's pull the big block off of here again for now. Holy cow, 27 pounds of wax. I tried for 29, but she didn't have one that was 29. Um, okay, so. Let's straighten things around here a little bit. Exactly perfectly level. This one's got a little bit of a, a weirdy thing there, and I think I had to. Uh, what did I do before? Just to prop them up a little bit. I can't remember now. Because it'll. You got to have them fairly level. Uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. But anyways, we've got to wick this one now. So that's pretty wicked. So we'll do our same Dewey here. Grab the wick thing. Yeah, you can buy these needles, but I'm like, oh crap, I can make that. It's freaking easy. Find about the center. Pull them through. That works, it works really good. I can make millions of dollars on those. Now, this I did upside down, or not upside down, we'll say. That's going to be a problem, perhaps, um, because the 
top of them should have been in the bottom of this thing, but that's not the way I did it, so that's okay, I guess. So. Okay, let's get half a stick. We almost got a melted pot there, I'll show you that in a second. And uh, for next video, when these are ready to come out, I'll actually bring down that the bear we did here. And you can see what he looked like. Now I'm having a little problem with that, so I'm going to have to redo this. Because... I should have knotted the bottom, I guess, because then it won't pull through. Come on, Wick. 100% cotton Wick. I can't believe they actually sell Wick that has a lead piece going through it. They actually sell leaded Wick. This day and age, we're still putting lead in things. Like, wow, and you're going to burn that and inhale that. Are you crazy? Nearly poked myself in the eye with the wick. Or with the stick, I mean. There, that's more better. Okay, so that one's good. Good and good. Okay, so we're melting pretty good here. We uh, got a few more minutes left though, till we're, till we're molten enough. But we're getting pretty darn close, and uh, that should be enough there. And that actually looks like it's almost needing to be uh, filtered, that stuff. Hmm. But uh, maybe what I have left out of pouring these two, maybe I'll pour into this block mold here. I really wanted to try this guy quite a bit too. So. I love to learn actually how they made these. That's that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it definitely smells like a silicone. It's kind of greasy. Should pop out of there real nice. So, oh look, it gives you all the instructions. So they're preparing. Oh, they single-sided molds. Single-sided molds. Figure molds use a large-eyed. Oh yeah, so that's basically exactly what we did. Big needle, but they're spraying stuff with Pam. That's interesting. Maybe you're supposed to do that. I think I read Pam, like the cooking spray. But uh, I'm gonna try it without it. So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Showing you pretty much everything. Do not leave the wax unattended. That's why we haven't gone anywhere. Okay, so that can go out. That, can go out. Um, that doesn't look very level either, but. Maybe if I get a little piece of paper or something, I could just wedge those up a little bit. And that little piece of paper we just threw it might work, actually. Look at that. That's what that was meant for. <laughs> just to give it a... That's better. And this one, this pink one, I'm really not crazy on it because it's so... It's almost too rubbery. It's almost too rubbery. All right, um, what do I want to do here? I want to, I'm not in the right position for my pouring here, but I can probably use my little ladle guy here and uh, it will work pretty good. This little guy that's pretty grimy smell. It smells so good. Oh man, it's funny though because the beeswax smells really good when it's hardened and it's in candle form. But when you're melting it, and it's all melted, ready to go. It really doesn't smell that good. <laughs> it's not the greatest smelling stuff. So, um, that'd be all right. Oh, it's so floppy that thing. It just makes me so nervous. Oh man, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely greasy of some sort. Interesting. I might have to get some of that. So, hopefully, this guy holds up. 
this one should hold up fine. This one should be fine. And uh, I think we should have darn near enough for everything. And if need be, we can put some in the pan, which actually, oh, that's cool. I actually want to try that too and see how that works. So, uh, But we're not quite melted yet. Uh, we're getting close. And uh, three or four more minutes, we'll start pouring here. Well, my pretty, how are we doing? Well, I still feel lumps. <laughs> There's a, yeah, I put a little piece of paraffin in there just to stabilize it a bit. I see the wick of this one coming out. Uh, if I can get that flipped over, we might be able to get them out of there now. Yeah, buddy. Now, that'll stay straight. We can make a little candle while we're waiting. Let me get my jug of water here. So dip, jug of water, cool them off. Dip, jug of water, cool them off. It's a bit long this one, but dip, jug of water. Dip. Fingers got in that one. <laughs> Jug of water. Dip. Jug of water. Water helps cool it down fast. Then the next layer sticks to it real nice. Now the thing is, you can't dip it in the hot too too long, or melt it all off again. So you just want little coat by little coat by little coat by little coat. Now, should be still pliable enough, or well, maybe not quite. Okay, so I'll let that air dry for a minute now. And then you can bend it straight without breaking it. Now what I want to do is just do the bottom. Form a little stuck on me. Form a little stand or a foot. Kind of looks like a foot. And let me grab a, a little plate guy here. We just made a candle. I should let that harden a bit. Oh crap, I don't want my lighter with me. Okay, I'll let that harden a minute. Um, I'll go grab a lighter. And I don't feel too much for lumps except one little piece there. Oh no, I did feel one there. Where is he? Yeah, he's in there somewhere. This stuff's a little dirty though, it does need a filtering. But the beauty thing is of it, if you don't like it, melt it down again. Oh yeah, we got a little lump there yet. Melt her up again and start from fresh. So let me go grab a lighter. Never mind, I got a real good lighter. There, he's made candle. <laughs> that shouldn't shouldn't burn too long. I wouldn't think that one. Bring them over here a little closer where you guys can maybe enjoy them a little bit if you like candles. How about there somewhere? We've got water now. And. There. That's pretty. That's pretty. Alright. Is that lump gone now? Or? I think I felt it in there somewhere, but I think we're we're good enough now anyways to, to draw some off the top of this. So hopefully that'll set a little little bit. And let's get you in position. We'll do some pouring. Okay, so we'll pour the little bear guy here first. Get some 
Nice full cup of wax here. Let it drip off for a minute. Should actually have some stuff down. I Hopefully this doesn't... I'm just concerned about it melting through, but this might be cold enough that it might be all right. It might not melt the thing, the, the gelatin. I hope it doesn't. Okay, now, boy, boy, we're going to have lots of wax here. <laughs> we're going to have this full and that plate full. Okay, so this one is the one to guess. Remember, we looked at that one. You got our guess in the comments and leave a comment what you think it is. And uh, we'll open her up in the next video. we do some candle stuff here. So, hopefully that one is not leaking either. It looks like it's so far okay. Might be cold enough that it might make a skin on there real fast. So, okay, so let's get shoes up a little bit here. Candle just went out. <laughs> Must have a chunk of water in it. Hit a piece of water. Okay, pour this guy next. See if this candle will light again here. The wick was a little wet from. The dousing, I guess. I'm going to turn the wax off and we're going to pour this one. It's sizzling, it's funny. It's going to blow. Look at that, one whole thing. Pretty darn near did it. These little guys hold a little more than you realize. Okay, now, I'm still not super happy with where that's sitting, but I think the mold is not clearly cut either. I'm going to leave that right there, because I'm almost up to the lip there. But holy, holy chow, I still got, like, lots left in the pot, and I kind of want to get that pot emptied if I could. So, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and... Or this guy too. They do uh, have one pound blocks. Block molds that you can get that candle went out again. That's funny. But this is only a one pound, but I could have got a two. And next video, we'll uncap those. Okay, there's just a bit of residual wax that I want to get out of this cup, if I can, while it's really hot. Good. Now, we shall oops, sorry, focus our attention on the plate, because I'm going to pour one on the plate and my candle went out again, darn it. The wick's wet, I guess, but... A little bit of moisture doesn't like the water. All right, let's see here. Where are you guys looking? Oh yeah, you're perfect. garbage in the bottom and there we go we are poured sweet look at that license plate reflection that's awesome cool well there we go that is it for today thanks again for watching oh and leave that there <laughs> and uh hopefully no weird air bubbles on any of these i can see a skin coming on this guy already and our nice block, that'd be awesome coming out. And our plate. Get the bubbles off them. Be interesting to see when that hardens. There's 
any cracks that come in it. I'm going to do a fast time on that phrase, maybe before we go. And uh, maybe I'll try to slide this guy over too. Two hands, and then we'll do a fast time as it hardens up.